What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, yeah, basically my aunt ended up showing up to Thanksgiving and some shiznit went down so I figured I basically had to make a video. For those of you that haven't seen the other videos, this is the aunt that wants my channel deleted and uh, yeah, she basically tried to fight me so it's gonna be a pretty good story time. Be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke, no scam whatsoever. Your aunt's gonna go crazy and without further ado, Let's get into this story time because I know you guys are going to absolutely love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as we all know, Thanksgiving was, uh, you know, yesterday, and it's supposed to be a time to spend with your family, and my family is kind of split up right now because of an unrelated fight between the same aunt and my mom, and I, I, I guess my aunt at some point, unrelated to me, threatened my mom like a week ago, so she just uninvited her to Thanksgiving, so I wasn't gonna have to see her, and genuinely, that's totally okay with me because of the fact, like, this is the same aunt that's been trying to get my channel deleted and just cause all all these problems with me so when I found out she wasn't gonna be there I'm not gonna lie I wasn't like no uh, I, I didn't mind whatsoever regardless dude I'm just at my parents house and it wasn't you know anything crazy it's literally just me my mom my dad and my little brother and we're just kind of sitting there watching a football game on TV and all of a sudden their dogs just start going insane in the backyard near the gate my parents have this like gate in their backyard to the road and the dogs don't really go crazy back there ever Ever, but they're just going bonkers right now and uh, my mom decides that she's gonna go check on it and we're like all right you know go do what you got to do go check on those puppies if you want I guess well about a minute after my mom goes outside my dad and I just hear two women yelling at each other and it doesn't sound like you know communication yelling it sounds like heated I'm mad at you yelling and it's coming from the backyard dude and obviously my mom had went out there alone so when we hear two women yelling back and forth in the backyard we're a little bit concerned it's either a ghost, you know, or some crazy lady, either of which are not very good for my mom. So we're super confused because she's the only woman who's at the house at the time, so we go outside to look around and as soon as we open the back door bits of yelling become like way more clear without the door interrupting it, dude and I swear, all I hear is you fat land whale! And then like my mom yelling, get out of my yard! Like that's all I hear. I don't really see anything yet because like I'm not out of the door yet, but when I'm hearing that, I'm like, oh, you know, this is gonna to be interesting. And that is when I see the most chaotic thing I've ever witnessed in my backyard. Not that it's a very long list of chaotic things that have gone down back there. Basically, all I'm seeing at this point is my mom running across the backyard with a lawn chair in her hands, like using it. You know when lion tamers used to use chairs to like keep the lion calm? That, that's what my mom is using the chair like. She is using this lawn chair in her hands. And what's even weirder is we don't have lawn chairs. Like, I don't live there anymore, but my parents don't have, like, it's a white plastic lawn chair my parents didn't have any, so somehow my mom has a lawn chair and she's using it as a weapon. And following behind her is this woman with a wiffle ball bat, just kind of furiously swinging it from side to side, just screaming insults at my mom that don't even make sense, just flicking around this wiffle bat. And for those of you who don't know what a wiffle bat, it's like a plastic baseball bat, dude, that, like, little kids use. So this lady has a plastic bat chasing my mom, who's using a plastic chair as a weapon and I'm just sitting here like what the hell is going on and that's when I realized the person who is chasing my mom with the wiffle bat is my aunt dude we are related this is the aunt that hates me for some reason she is now in my backyard chasing my mom with a wiffle ball bat and I'm just like what is happening dude like this lady wasn't allowed at our Thanksgiving you know she got uninvited but she still wanted to pull up with the wiffle bat and make sure we all were gonna learn our lesson maybe she wasn't trying to fight my mom, you know? Maybe the wiffle bat was like a baguette instead. She was coming to drop off for Thanksgiving and it was really hot. She was just trying to cool it down. Regardless, finally my mom like stops and yells at her sister to stop and kind of like swings the chair. But when she does that, my aunt kind of like panics for a second and doesn't move and kind of freezes up. And at that point, that gives my dad like just enough time to get between them and try to break them up. So now it's my aunt on one side, my mom on the other, and my dad in the middle trying 
trying to like hold them apart and my aunt decides that like she hasn't had enough yet so she starts swinging the bat like around my dad with her hand like trying to swing it around the side of my dad to hit my mom keep in mind it's like a little plastic baseball bat dude that is hollow it doesn't hurt that bad so my dad grabs the bat to try to like stop her from swinging it around and so now that she can't hit my mom with the wiffle wall bat she starts throwing insults at my mom the only thing is it's not like normal insults you know when you're arguing with somebody and you're just kind of like oh you're stupid you're this you're that like everybody has kind of been in an argument like that for some reason dude these are the type of insults where you're really trying to hurt somebody's feelings like I understand that my mom and my aunt are siblings dude but she was just saying things to my mom that I was really not vibing with like regardless I I'm not a big fan of anyone hurting my mom's feelings I'm not gonna go into details but my mom's a pretty tough lady and uh, my mom started literally sobbing standing there because her feelings were so hurt because of what my aunt said and listen I, I don't care who you are dude if you make my mom cry we have beef like that's my mom that's my mom dude like you, you can't make her cry I don't care if she's been a jerk to you you don't get to make my mom cry so since my aunt wanted to play hard while you want to throw around insults to hurt feelings I decide that you know I'm I'm gonna throw the heat right back you want to make my mom cry I'll make my aunt cry GG you want to play this game I can play this game so I happen to know that my aunt was a big fan of her kids and one of my cousins had actually just gotten a DUI that was her kid and uh, me and this cousin aren't friends by any means and honestly driving drunk is a really messed up selfish thing to do like get an uber dude you can literally just pay someone six bucks to drive you home don't put a bunch of people's lives at risk it's just not cool but regardless you know normally I wouldn't bring this up under any circumstances at a family dinner or a family event but considering she wasn't even invited and she wanted to make my mom cry I uh basically just wanted to hit at a my aunt and piss her off and listen I understand that two wrongs don't make a right but whatever if you make my mom cry I really do not care about two wrongs making a right like don't come on that's my family dude so my aunt is still yelling insults at my mom and so I decide to chirp in and I say say what you want about my mom but at least her kids don't have DUIs now I understand it was mean but it was funny so YOLO regardless obviously like my aunt gets really pissed at that statement you know but she made a fatal mistake her reply wasn't to like ignore me or leave she decides to roast me back saying that I look stupid and goofy and I should shut up now whenever somebody wants to like get into an insult battle I don't want to sound cocky but it's literally my job like I'm not trying to uh, you know toot my own horn but toot toot this is my job I literally like kind of make fun of stuff for a living especially in situations like this like going up against Karen's people who think they're more entitled than they are so she says I look stupid and I look goofy and you know this is round one fight so I reply not very nicely I wouldn't advocate doing this but I basically just say that she's a dumb bitch who has to waddle everywhere because her blood type was McChicken and uh, you know definitely a little bit below the belt but she was going below the belt on my mom so I went below the belt back dude that's just how it goes and I think I'm gonna go ahead and give myself the W on that round because let's not forget that her comeback was to just tell me to shut up which you know is basically the weakest insult of all time time regardless she still hasn't learned her lesson and she replies she goes oh you're just gonna make fun of my weight because that's all you have you look like you're skinny enough to eat more which like you know don't know if that was a fact or an insult yeah I'm, I'm really skinny bro I definitely look like a malnourished child but like hey it is what it is you know so I just replied that I would try to insult her with something else but I figured she was too stupid to understand it if I did which once again gonna give myself the W on that one and at that point she's pissed and she says you're mom should have never had you you are a mistake which you know uh, I think she pushed it just a little too far again but at this point dude I have her in the fatality position because all this time of being my grandma's favorite has made me very very aware of all the family drama dude and she doesn't realize that she has just put me in the situation to drop the hammer on her so I just smile and say you would know a lot about making mistakes or were those two affairs you had on purpose what about that huh which 
is the kill shot, ladies and gentlemen. And now she's just furious, dude. I can tell that she's just seeing red. You know how they talk about in shark attacks? How, like, the shark's eyes are just, <laughs> like, a kill mode, bro? That's what she's looking like. I have gotten in this lady's head. It's too easy, man. GG. Don't make my mom cry. It's just not that complicated. I, I really don't, like, it. come on. I don't want to have to get under my aunt's skin. It's not fun. But if you make my mom cry, like, yeah, I'm going to piss you off. It is what it is. So at that point, she's pissed, and she says, I'm just gonna beat the snot out of you, and she just starts sprinting at me full speed like an angry bull, dude, and I don't really know what my game plan is, because, like, if she gets to me, I I'm not about to hit her. Like, regardless of how much I just kind of pissed her off, I didn't really want, I'm not, I'm not gonna hit a woman. Like, I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, regardless, she's running at me, and she's coming at me quick. Hey, guys, I'm gonna interrupt the video for a second. On screen is an Xbox gift card. Whoever gets the code gets the code. I give one of these away every day as a way to just say thank you to everybody who is subscribed. I really, really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to press that button. Turn on notifications as well. It's literally free. You can always unsub if you don't like the content. I give away money every day, so you got nothing to lose. And, uh, yeah, thank you to everyone who is subscribed. Let's get back to the video. Dude, but by the grace of whatever is in charge of the universe, it must have been shining down on me that day, because she's sprinting at me, and she eats it. My parents have, like, these, uh, pavement stone things in the grass, and she, like, tripped on one while well, she's running at me and she falls so hard like you know when somebody hits the ground and everybody just kind of goes ooh for a second like that's how hard she just smacks into the ground and at this point she gets up she's all red in the face embarrassed because like she just said she's gonna beat the snot out of me and literally couldn't even get to me without hurting herself and she's like oh yeah I, you know I don't even have time to fight you you like you're not worth it which to me is hilarious dude like oh yeah now now I'm not worth it you know you showed up uninvited and tried to fight everybody clearly we're at least a little worth it like you could be at home right now with your family and your kids but instead you're now like limping to the side gate because you came to try to fight your nephew and your sister because I don't know I, I don't I really don't know and what's even funnier is when I made the you know the statement about limping she's literally limping to the side gate dude like I guess when she had fallen she must have hurt something because she's limping over to the side gate and she gets over there and she looks back at us and we're just kind of staring at her and she flips us off one more time you know to just r really show us who's boss like ooh Watch out, guys. Oh, no. Did you know that uh, my aunt, who's a grown woman, knows that a middle finger is insulting? Wow, we. Just in case she didn't want us to forget she was nuts. She, she wanted to leave us a little reminder of her insanity. So she finally leaves, dude, and I go over to my mom and I ask what happened because obviously, like, I missed the beginning of all this. You know, I came out after I heard everything going down and all I witnessed is my mom using a chair as a weapon and my aunt swinging around a wiffle ball bat. So I'm very curious, dude. And my mom, who was crying before, is laughing now after you know I, I made her sister look really stupid and I'm sure her falling was hilarious like that was really really funny I was a little scared because I was like oh this lady's about to tackle me and there's gonna be nothing I could do because I can't hit her but now my mom's laughing and uh, you know she's feeling better and she starts telling us what had happened previously and like the two minutes between her going outside to see what the dogs were barking at and when I walk outside to my mom using a chair as a weapon so my mom says that she came into the backyard and she sees that the dogs are at the gate and uh, she sees that there's like an arm coming over the gate trying to undo the latch. If you've ever seen a gate, like, you know, the little latch thing that's kind of near the top of the gate. And so obviously she had walked over to see who it was, dude. And she sees her sister standing on a plastic lawn chair trying to get over it. And I guess she had like brought it with her, dude. You know, she had her little breaking into your sister's backyard pack, the little pack she bought at Costco, came with the plastic chair so you could get over the fence. Anyways, when my mom sees that it's like her sister on a plastic plastic chair I guess she had yelled at her to be like hey what are you doing and it scared my aunt so she used her other hand that had a wiffle bat for some reason I'm not sure why she picked a wiffle bat out of everything she could possibly bring like okay I, I obviously I'm very grateful she brought a wiffle bat but what she's like oh I want to hit them but with like the least threatening thing that's humanly possible anyway she uses her other hand puts it over the gate and starts like swinging the bat at my mom and my mom opened the gate at that point to try to like get her sister out of there but my aunt 
aunt rushes into the backyard swinging it at her with the chair. So my mom pulled the chair away from her because I guess she had both in her hands and started running away because she didn't want to get hit by the bat. And so that's when we had like come outside and witnessed this just chaotic thing. So yeah, basically my crazy aunt showed up to Thanksgiving completely uninvited, brought her own plastic lawn chair and a wiffle bat, tried to break into the backyard. When she got caught, fought my mom and then uh, decided to like try to, you know, insult me, lost that, tried to fight me, hurt her own ankle, and then limped out after trying to claim that we just weren't worth her time, even though she had spent Thanksgiving coming to try to fight us. I'm really not quite sure what the hell her plan was, but hey, whatever, I got a banger story time out of it, so I can't complain too much, you know, if you're watching this and you're my aunt, appreciate it, feel free to keep being crazy, thank you, mwah. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to press the like button, comment down below. Below. If you wouldn't mind commenting the word, uh, I, let's say ant down below, it'll just help me hit recommended and I would really appreciate it. Other than that, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. I post story times every day and you're not going to want to miss it. If you're in the market for some merch, may I suggest the Swagtastic Haha -ha merch. It's pretty cool and uh, the OG Sub Club merch is actually still up as well. They're very comfortable and uh, I tried to price them as good as I could. It should be cheaper than most YouTubers merch. I tried my best. If you want even more content, I do have a podcast called The Scuffed cast link will be in the description along with my instagram at scrubby twitter at scrubby underscore 69 and the tiktok at scrubby stories on that note guys don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i will see you guys all next time with another video i'm out peace